Grave robbing is nothing new, but when most of us think of a grave robber, we tend to think of somebody in the dead of the night digging up a body and taking whatever valuables they have. And if I were to ask you, what group of people do you think that probably would never have to worry about grave robbers? You'd probably say grave robbers. I mean, come on, they know all the trade secrets. But if you answered US presidents, then the FBI probably wants to talk to you. Both the graves of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln have come under threat from grave robbers, but luckily for their graves, the people trying to rob them were less than competent. In 1830, an ex-employee of the Washington estate decided that he wasn't too happy, so he was going to get his, and he set out to steal the skull of George Washington himself. But George Washington's crypt wasn't very well kept up, so the robber mistakenly took the skull of one of Washington's relatives instead. But in 1876, two guys set out to steal Abraham Lincoln's body, but they never made it that far. Lincoln's body was in an unguarded tomb, and you figure the two men probably could have figured out how to rob the tomb themselves, but they went ahead and asked for help from an expert. The guy they asked was a grave robber, but he was also an informant for the Secret Service. What's the craziest grave robbing story you know of? 